I'm chilling here with the one and only Queen Latifah. Ah, <laughs> season three of that's Star. Right, that's right, we made it. Where we last left off, guns were drawn, new job titles were in full effect. Where are we when we pick up at the beginning of the new season? Uh, that's exactly where we are. <laughs> guns are still drawn, and uh, Carlotta is still, uh, she's bossing up actually now. She's running Midtown Sound. She's now the president of the record label, so she has to make sure that the girls are making music, that the problems get figured out. Um, Ayana's pregnant and had to go to London, so she had to take yeah. over the joint. So she passed it to, you know, the, the woman to the right, which was great. Um, yeah. Ayana's not the only person who's pregnant, too. Uh, Star is also pregnant that? based off of the previews. <laughs> now, as not only a co-worker, but also a person who's deeply in the show, did you have that disappointed mom moment, or you're like, hey, do you? Uh, no, you don't, ha you don't really have, I don't know if you could even have a disappointed mom thought uh, with Star, because it'd be too many things. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, she's too many things. You, you know, they're rolling, sorry. But she's just too many things in general. You never know what to expect with Star. And it's so hilarious to me that she's the one that got pregnant. The most ambitious, tenacious one out of, kind of out of all of them, just like, the killer for the career. But, you know, that love trumped all, didn't it? Yeah, indeed. Was there like an offset pool out of all the people on the show that would get pregnant first or would get somebody pregnant? Who would that person be? No, but you know it's gonna happen. It's likely to happen. There's, well, you know, people are married, so you, you, you don't tend to, you know, cover it up. <laughs> you get, it is what it you is. Just roll over and, at three in the morning and get you some. So between like the- <laughs> And that's what happens. Well, between the serious stuff that you do and the comedic stuff that you've done, do you have a passion for one more so than the other? Um, in terms of acting roles, mm -hmm. no. I, th I put um, I put just as much heart into a comedic role as I put into a dramatic role or or anything in between or a speaking part, you know, in, in an animated role. You know, I work hard on each one. So um, generally they're all fulfilling when they, I just like meaty roles. I like something that challenges me in some sort of way. You know, rom-coms, you know, Just Right was just as much of a challenge as Bessie, you know? So um, as long as it gives me something that I have to aspire to, uh, some, some sort of challenge, some part that is not easy for me that I have to really work to get there, then I always feel like fulfilled when it, when it comes together. And you ride the wave so well. Like, I you mean, know, like, you were, you were the mistress of reinvention. Like, you've done it so many times. Well, if I heard of mistress before, can I roll with that one? Let's put it in a book. Print it's it. A put a stamp on it, like Fat Five Fred used to say. Okay, that's so right. It tells me we have one more set of questions, so let me, let me plot through this. I got a game I want to play with you. It's rapid fire. Oh, shit. Reboot or deboot? I'm going to throw some things at you. You tell me if it should happen or, like, as a reboot or you get debooted, okay? Why are you making that face already? She like... Here we go. So, Brandy's on the show. Mm. I want to be down as a classic. Can we reboot it, or should it be debooted? Deboot. You, you couldn't see nobody else making it as good as the original? No. Okay, what about <laughs> Living Single? They can make it good, but not as good as the original. Yeah, Go. It's classic. Uh, living Single. Reboot. Reboot? Yes, definitely. With y'all in it, or a new cast? Either or. Okay. Original cast. Uh, oh, so it sounds like it's happening. Good times. Reboot or deboot? Reboot? Who would you see as the dad? Oh my God! Who played the dad? Who played the dad? Give me some answers. Come on, come on. think, think, think. Uh, dad, dad, dad. Uh, Who's uh, uh, I, I like, I like Terry Crews. Terry Crews. They gotta let him live, though. He can't. Nah. Die, he can't die looking for work. Terry Crews got too much money now, huh? He got look a little. He kind of. Somebody think of Chris. Yeah, somebody. Who's Haggardly? And no one wants to own up to being Haggardly. So Nobody's gonna want to own. We just that. need somebody who looks like they need the money. So, or they gotta make that check right. So they like, I haggard, I haggarded the hell out of Bubbles from the wire. Bubbles from Mr. the Mr. Arroyo. That's a good one. Okay. Um, the Last Dragon, reboot or deboot? Definitely reboot. Who would be time at? Whoever could do karate. Who could do karate? Uh, uh, Jaden. Let Jaden be Jayden time Smith. He was, yeah. a, he was a whole child karate star. Jaden. Uh, set it off. Reboot or deboot? I don't know if anybody can, can't touch this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you know Brad, touch did, this. Brad did the play. Well, that's the play, and I respect Brad. And I know the play is great. You know what I mean? I've seen it. No, but I heard it was dope. It, was good. it came on the day we wrapped here. Gotcha. So I had to work. And I ran into the, the uh, producer, too. So I know the, the play is dope, and I can't wait to see it. And I heard it was dope. So 
Well, but it's that, I mean, that's a play. I mean, the, the classic is the classic. It's like Scarface or, you know, Godfather. You gotta it, it set it off, you know? So you can remake it, but I don't know. I don't, I, you have to rethink it, not just... You can't be thinking of me as Cleo, because otherwise you'll be like, mm, that's not... Well, she can go out like, la, you know, I don't want them comparing. I got you. It's got to well, be, have its own, his own shoes, you know, to fit into. Well, when they made you, they broke them all. And one thing we know is dope. Star, season three, popping off September 26. She's on Fox. more beautiful in person. So is he. He's so beautiful. Thank you. You should see how beautiful he is in person. <laughs> and he feels soft. Oh, Look at that. Person. Go, go, go. It's like baby hair. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>